All right, express this number in standard form. There's not, there's not really what I, there's not enough uh, scientific notation practice, if you ask me. Uh, 1.304 times 10 to the seventh in standard form, which means we get rid of this 10 to the seventh and we just have a big number. And remember, if it's a positive exponent, it's really big, or at least significantly big. If it's a negative exponent, we're gonna go small. So this is a positive exponent, so we're going to make this number bigger. So 1.304 times 10 to the 7th, which means I need to move this decimal place seven, 7 times to get a, a bigger number, right? So if I move to the left, that gives me a super small number, and that's not what I'm looking for. And that's one way to just kind of check to make sure you're going the right direction. If I go this way, though, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 throw in some zeros there. Then my new number is 1, 3, 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 13 million 40,000. Okay, express this number in scientific notation. Okay, this may not be fair. You may not know how many zeros are in a billion. Um, and there's actually videos on YouTube, if you're ever interested, that talk about how a billion should not actually be a billion. It should be, uh, should actually be what we use as a trillion. But that's beside the point. Okay, so 31 billion. Billion has, at least in our language, nine, sorry, nine, I guess that's what I was trying to do, um, nine zeros. Okay, so 31 followed by nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we could say, well, okay, so nine zeros, that's 31 times 10 to the ninth. And that's true, and that, that's equal, but scientific notation, our number has to be between one and nine. So it can't be 10, and this 31 would be too big. So we need to actually move the decimal place to one more to 3.1, and so that's going to be 3.1 times 10 to the 10th power. All right, now we have a small number, so we're going to have a scientific notation number. Uh, with a negative exponent. So let's just go ahead and write our digits 2.07, that's a 0, 7, 7, okay, because it has to be between 1 and 9, and times 10 to some power. So we're going to start right, right now our decimal is right here. And we want it to be right here, so how many places do we have to move to get to it right here? So that would be one, two, three, four. So times 10 to the negative four would give me this, what we started with right here. The point zero 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 two zero seven seven is the same thing as 2.077 times 10 to the negative four. So where, when we, when we do this, we wanna say, okay, where do I want my decimal to be? I want it to be right here. And where is it currently? It is up here. How many spots do I have to move to get it to where I want it? Okay, that's what we're looking at. Okay. Okay, 3.643 in standard form, meaning long form, I guess. So we're going to move our decimal place. Negative uh, 1 so 3.643 times 10 to the negative 1. This would actually be, so remember our exponent rules. So 10 to the negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 10 to the positive 1, right? And so this is actually, we're dividing by 10. And so that's another way to think about it, is we're dividing this by 10. If we divide anything by 10, we move the decimal place 1 to the left. So that makes this point so we can put a zero here, right? Point zero, zero point three six four three. That was.
was interesting. I'm going to have to disable that, I think. 0 0.3643. Okay, million. I think most of us know million, but if not, that's okay. And again, there's interesting things on YouTube about how it should actually be milliard, and a million would have uh, three more zeros. Or actually, no, a million is a million, uh, but a milliard would actually be a billion. Anyway, it's not for us, so don't worry about it. 78 million, so 78, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros, right, 78 million, and so 6 zeros, that would be 70, 78 times 10 to the 6th, but we need 7.8, so we need to move our decimal one, and that's going to give us 7.8 times 10 to the 7th, because we would have to move our decimal place seven times to get from here to here, to the end of the 78 million. Okay, 0.1588. Let's see, point, 0 0.1588. Okay, so remember our, for scientific notation, we're looking for a number between one and nine. And so we can't go to 15, but we can go to 1.588, and that's where we want to go. 1.588, and how far did we have to move the decimal place to get from here to here? Well, we really just had to move it once, right? We had to multiply it by 10. So it's going to be 1.58 times 10 to the negative 1, because we would move it. Right, we're trying to get back. We want these to be equivalent. So if we multiply it by 10, then that would take us to 15. But if we multiply it by negative 10 to the negative 1, it's dividing by 10, then it gets back to 0.1588. So they're the same. And last one of these, 3.868 times 10 to the 9th in standard form. Okay, so 3.868, and we're going to move our decimal nine times, and we want it to be bigger because nine is positive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's all these nice spots for us to put zeros in, egg holders maybe. And so our final number is 3868000000. Three billion eight hundred and sixty eight million.